Hey everybody, welcome to Elisa's Art Room. Tonight we're going to be working some more on our Halloween Gothic Grunge Junk Journal. Okay, so we've been working on this for a while now. We're going to work some more on it, doing some decorating. Y'all let me know if my volume's okay. I'm just a little worried I might have plugged that in too fast. Sometimes if I plug my mic in too fast, it doesn't work right. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Dawn. Okay. Get you guys pulled up. See the chat. Volume's good? Okay, thanks. All right, at least our room. And find my page. All right, there's the phone. Get the Kindle. We're almost ready. And I think Sharon's still live, so I know I might have a few people late because of that. She was live when I looked a second ago. Find this on the candle so I can see all the, everybody's chat. All right, there it is. All right, so we're going to be working in our journal, guys. So, oh, it's so shiny. I might have to put some. I wasn't going to put matte medium on that, but I don't know. I might put it just on the bottle. I don't know. I might leave it shiny. It's just hard to photograph. <laughs> all right, so that's what we're doing tonight. Um, I've got a couple of things lined up I think will be cool so I'm just honestly I'm just gonna go ahead and flip the camera up top and get started because you know how long it takes me so <laughs> hey Nancy um, let me just go ahead and do that and then I'm sure some people will stroll in as Sharon finishes her life all right so one second Dawn says she did another Facebook update, still not fixed. What? What is up with that? It's so frustrating. It's not doing it on my my phone that I know of. At least it's it's not right now. I don't know why it's doing that to you. I think that if they did another update, they would have fixed it, huh? Okay. My, my pile of stuff is getting a little out of control here, guys. It's off to the side, so y'all can't see it, but <laughs> it looks horrible to me. All right, let's see. What do we want to do tonight? All right. Hmm. Depending on what I'm going to do with these. So this is going to be a, a hollow spine. And I'm either going to do it as a, an Oxford hollow or just a very basic hollow spine. The difference is an Oxford hollow has a, like a cardboard tube and a regular hollow spine doesn't have that. It just basically has this attached to material and then it's attached only here and here. And so this part's basically hollow. So in either way, I have to wait till I do that to cover this because I'll have some sort of material here. So that, that's why this is still blank for anybody who's just joining. That's why it kind of looks odd. It's not going to end up like that. These keep changing order. I don't. I haven't decided on an order yet, guys. All right. 
So, oh, I added some words to our little um, undertaker. All right, let me read them to you here. Let me show you. They're from the Tim Holtz stickers. Um, this. Okay. Oops, gosh, I keep knocking stuff off. So it says, Undertaker and Embalmer, a much misunderstood gentleman, embodied spirits haunted him at night or by night. So I thought that was very fitting. Come on, focus. <laughs> no, it's not. Is it focused? It doesn't look focused. It's so hard for me to tell. Uh, but I thought that was a fitting sentiment there. Wait to see if I can see it on my phone. I think it's focused. It always looks a little blurry. Is my mat crooked today? Um, it needs to go. Well, that was worse. It needs to go this way. Some people are really bothered by your your grid being out of alignment. <laughs> so I try, I try really hard to keep it somewhat straight. <laughs> I was watching some of my my YouTubers that I watch, and one lady's like, she gets keeps getting people commenting saying that it makes them sick. Like I don't, it somehow makes them queasy to, to see it crooked and I don't know why but so I try to keep it straight is this your favorite page it is a cool page I did um, go ahead and put some matte medium on it guys just to make sure that everything was sealed or not matte medium matte varnish um, to make sure it was sealed and um, nothing was sticky or anything like that I just go over it with a little coat of matte varnish so this does have matte varnish on it. All right, let's see. So I'm thinking about, I want to work on the centers, I think. So I've got three centers that are basically the same. And I figured out a theme that I thought would look cool. So I've got that one, that one. And this one's slightly different. Where's it at? There it is. That one. Okay. So three similar situations on my centers there. And I was scrolling around Etsy, which is very dangerous. <laughs> I've got to quit doing that. I might actually put, I think I'm going to put some of that wallpaper on this page too. It's, just, it's very thin and what I want to do to it is going to require it to be a little bit thicker. But I kind of want to go ahead and just do them all with this similar theme just because it's, I think it's cool and I think it will look good. But first I'll need to fix that one. So I'm just going to pull these out. I'm going to label them because I would want to get them back in the right books. Right signatures. <laughs> get them back in the right signature blocks. So gonna call this one a you think I would save these little stickers but I always throw them away we'll just put this on the back because I'm gonna be using the front all right so that's a close that up and call this one B I do. I like these centers. Um, we're going to cover them up. <laughs> we're going to cover them a lot, which you may not like, but I hope y'all like it. I think it looks cool, so. Okay. 
We'll do one, and you all can tell me what you think, and then we'll go from there, if I do another one or not. But I am going to, I think I am going to coat this one page first, because I just, I'm not crazy about the back of that paper. I mean, it's okay, it's just not, it's not ideal. Here's our pages. So first I want to, I'm going to go over, while I'm doing this, I'm basically just going to glue a piece of this wallpaper. So obviously we'll do something different but similar than those two. So we'll set those two up here so I can see what one I've already used. Plus this, this looks upside down. It probably was. I have no idea if it has the front. Or not but I wanted to kind of talk to you about some things I purchased off of Etsy I know some of y'all don't have printers but I was talking to was it Deborah I think I was talking to Deborah I think yeah Deborah I was talking to Deborah earlier and if there are things you want to print but you don't have a printer because I know Dorothy doesn't have a printer either if y'all don't have a printer um, put it on a flash drive and take it down to the UPS store or Kinko's or FedEx or whatever printer place you have pretty I'm pretty sure all of those are set up to where they can they can get a file off of a flash drive and print for you if I'm not mistaken that's how I, I've done it a long like a long time ago but I have done it so I'm pretty sure it's the same now nowadays honestly it's probably even easier nowadays but I did some purchasing on Etsy, and I'm going to share with you what I purchased, because they're kind of cool. So I didn't print out everything, but this set is called Haunted. It is by Junk with Steph. Um, Stephanie Huff. She has a little Etsy store. She may have a YouTube. I don't know. So she did this Haunted one, which has that, and this so some really cool just halloween gothic looking tags and ephemera and i forget what else was on it but some cool stuff oh and this little envelope so envelopes and things like that so that's her set it's a nice set i should i should write down these prices but i always forget i feel like it was to some like 249 maybe you gotta go already dawn oh i'll see you next time get some sleep girl all right um this one has all different herbs and then it talks about the herbs because i have a couple of pages in here that are kind of witchy alchemy-ish um i didn't want to get into spells and stuff I didn't want to get too creepy for y'all but I thought going the natural route of like a um what I call a nature witch or a white witch I don't I don't know but it's to where it's just all about herbs and using those in the potions so I found this and I printed it on coffee dyed paper it comes in a colored version and a white black and white ver or a white background ba version so you can put it on whatever color you want um prints really well and coffee dyed but it's pretty cool and like i said it has all the different herbs it's got like oh, maybe 10 12 different herbs so but it, it's i like it it's got like just all kinds of information about the herb you can kind of screenshot that and look at it later or pause your replay but pretty cool so you might want to check that set out it wasn't expensive nothing I bought was horribly expensive within the dollar something to three something range probably I don't know I don't think I spent more than that on anything because you know y'all know I'm, I'm cheap <laughs> I don't spend much but anyway, so I got those because I thought this would just be a cool page. You could even do a book. So many options, guys. 
And then I saw these. These are cool. These are gothic background living rooms. This, oh, I didn't tell you who that one was from. Hold on. I got to tell you who this one was from. This one was from Herb. It's called Herb Correspondence. Correspondences. <laughs> wow. That's a hard word for me. It is by Gypsy Craftery. So that's what that's from. This one, I feel like I, did I write it on one of these? Is it not? Oh, that's college me. Okay, this is, okay, it's there too. It's called Gothic Victorian Living Room something something. And then it's by Luminor, L-U-M-I-N-O-I-R, Art. But I was like, these are what I'm going to use for, I think, the centers. I'm going to separate them. But how cool to have little gothic scenes with people in them. So that's what we're going to do mostly today. I'm going to go ahead and cover this one because I just wanted it to be a little bit, a little bit different. It might be too small. Let me see if they'll still fit on there. I might have to tear it down a little bit or pick and choose which one I use. I could possibly reprint one, but I don't want to do that. They'll fit better. On, these are bigger. They'll fit fine on here, I think. They're almost too big, but I think they'll work. I'll have to lose the chandelier or something. Maybe I'll fussy cut it and move it down. I'll make it work. But if I'd known they were too big, I didn't measure them first. I probably should have. Um, I could have shrunk it and when I printed it, but I didn't. So I didn't do that. So we're just going to go with what we have and make it work. I tried covering one with matte medium um, just to see if it would. Because you know these are inkjet. I'll, that's all I have is an inkjet, and it is very water soluble. I feel like there's something there, but it's actually in the print. Um, it is, you know, it can be affected by water. So I put some matte medium on this one to see how it would work. It's a tad shiny, so I think when I'm all done, I'll varnish the whole thing with matte varnish. That will also keep anything from sticking together because I'm going to have it on both pages. And anytime you have collage medium, matte medium, Mod Podge, anything like that, and you have it on pages that touch each other, y'all are going to have to coat it with either matte varnish or that powder stuff they sell that stops it or wax because otherwise it will stick um, together. So just be aware of that and you'll be fine. Aren't they cool though? I, just, I thought they were so cool. And my, the Tim Holtz Halloween people work perfectly. So let's cover this because I just don't like that. Also, it's not going to show much. Maybe I'm just wasting my time. I wish it was darker. I guess I could just color it with black. I kind of wanted it a little thicker, but I don't know. Maybe I can work with it. Almost wish I reprinted it and just made the page bigger. It must be really small compared. Yeah, I'm losing about a quarter of an inch. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What if I switched it with another page? Let me pull that book out. I'm just going to check real quick if I can switch it with anything don't know if I can or not. At one point, I probably had a different page in there. All right, which one is that? C? All right, is this C? This is C. All right, let's see what else is in this book. There's this one that's bigger. Maybe I'll switch it with that page. Let's do that. All right, so if I put this here this here for the center put my birdie here 
he still work there? Yeah, he still works there. It's actually kind of cool with the writing through them, so that's fine. Potions and elixirs still work there. Did I have something else? I don't know what I had there. <laughs> Maybe I had just this plain one. Is that what it was? Was it the plain one? I don't know. I'm getting all mixed up now. Doesn't really matter how I put them as long as I'm happy with it, right? All right? Maybe we'll just keep the plain one there. We can always add something cool later. All right, maybe we'll do that. So if I do that, and then that, and that, that's fine. I like the bird there. Actually, it kind of goes along with that because of that background on my bird. I keep drawing a blank. What is that called? Oh my goodness. Why am I drawing a blank on that, guys? What is that background called? Y'all know. I know you know. It's a, it's a essential stencil stencil. I can't remember what it's called. But it does look similar. Anyway. So that works there well there. So I'm okay with that. And that gives us a bigger, a bigger page to work with for this. So let's do that. So I'm just going to move that to there. And that to there. Okay. Or the same size. Which one of those chairs fit in the attic of your vignette? Wood. Oh, wood. Um, they might, but I also have a whole page of chairs that might fit. Um, that I was going to cut up. I don't know. You know, I felt like I fussy cut them already, and I can't find it. So I'm guessing I just never fussy cut it. But in the haberdashery, in the haberdashery set, there is this page. And it's got like all these cool chairs in it. So I was going to fussy cut some out to use for that. And I, I haven't. But one of these would be more likely, I think, to fit than these because these, these are a lot bigger. And that top floor of the vignette isn't very big. It's um, it's only this big. So, but one of these would definitely fit. So that's that's a good idea. I could totally use one of those. All right. So this is in haberdashery, and it's nice and thick too. So it's that heavy cop craft paper. All right, so I don't know that I really need to do anything to that, so let me just pick one here and see. If it, do any of them have more of a brownish tone? Those are a little, this one's a little more brown. And uh, Maybe. Those are a little more brown than the others. So maybe these two. And then that would leave these two long chairs and two short chairs. So we'll put these two. Maybe those two look like they go together. It's got that same tufted. Actually, this has a tufted one too. So actually, it could go either way. That'll work. All right, let's do that. So I'm going to tear these apart. So I said that was more brown and that was more brown, right? I think so. No, yes, this one. This is more brown. These two, right? The books in the fireplace. This is a little brown, but we're going to have to figure out what to do about that. Um, chandelier. I'll probably just cut it out and move it down. All right, so we'll tear these out. I think I'm just gonna I'm debating on how I want to tear them, guys. If I just want to use my tear ruler, or if I want to get a little more crazy with it. Hmm. All right, 
let's first first I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tear it with my tear ruler first because so they do have a middle if you can't figure out where it is you can fold it in half and just kind of touch and you can see it a little bit better but it is there Let me try to get on the grid here doesn't have to be straight but I'd rather make sure I don't get part of the wrong page or anything so it works better okay there's one there's one so that's brown this is very brown Where that one is. Mm. Okay. They did a really good job of blending those together. <laughs> okay, so these two are the kind of brownish ones, right? No? Goodness gracious. No, not that one. This one. Yes. That's black. Okay. Okay. I think I got it. So, let's figure out how I want to tear these down. So, I'm going to put these on this one. The question is, do I just want to leave that as a background or do I want to have anything else? If I tear it a lot, I'll have to put my person in and see if I need to lift it from the floor any, so I think I'm just going to loose tear it. So let me think of which direction I want to go. Do I want it to have a lot of white or a little white? I think a little white. So I'm going to go toward me on the right, away from me on the left. Does that make sense? Trying to stay somewhat close to the floor there. Lose too much floor. But I want it to be, I think, just a little more interesting. So I'm going to really try and tear it. And now I'm going the wrong way. It's hard to hold. Okay. I can do this. <laughs> I can do it. I prefer my ruler, guys. It's easier on my hands, honestly. I probably need to get smaller than this, but we're going to start here. what I'm doing but oh well if I have some white I have some white I'll figure it out okay let's see what this looks like all right still a little bit big but it's close it's really close guys I don't care if some getting in the signature a little bit as long as it's thin enough I can still sew through it and it doesn't have problems bending. Let's go a little bit. A little more off of this side. I'm trying to kind of keep it interesting looking, you know? It was just ripped out of something. All right, I think we are good there. Let's figure out, we'll have to figure out what people, I'm gonna go ahead and tear the other one and then we'll figure out what people. I may throw them all down and see which people work best because 
there are only certain ones that will sit. I love these books. I don't want to lose too much of the books. So I'm going to try not to lose. I, meant to, I can't tear that direction, guys. <laughs> I'll just ink up the white spots because for me, going towards myself is easier. I'm trying to lose too much books. It's just very wide, so I know I'll have to lose some. getting off camera because I'm trying to hold it closer to my body. <laughs> trying to lose the table. So that's that. And then let's see which two work for. We've got a brownish and a little blacker. So we'll do the blackest ones. I think on this one. The ones there's these I think these are the blackest because they've got that blue. I might put that, that one over there. Because I, I want one long sofa and one short sofa. So let's put this one here. All right, let's see if I can just do this. <laughs> it's challenging. Okay, so this one here and this one here. I want to make sure at least I want the chairs at the very least you want the chairs because I'm going to be setting people either in front of them or on them. More I'm okay with losing more of the top than the bottom. <laughs> I need bigger hands. My little tiny hands don't want to do that. Okay. Is that big enough? No. A little bit more? Yep, just a fraction more. Get off the top. I really kind of like that tear. I try to just follow it. Isn't it funny how some tear shapes are just more appealing? A little too wide. All right, so I could take a little off of this side. And try to go the right direction. It's hard to do. And if my people hang over the bottom, or anything like that, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. It'll just add to the look, I think. Okay, almost. I'm gonna try to see as much thread as I can because, you know, I went to the trouble of putting it on there. I might as well see it. Still a little fat there. Let's see. Take where those books are. And that's okay. I don't care if that goes over. All right, that's not too bad. Let's 
Do y'all like this idea? Y'all let me know. I, I saw them and I was like, bam, you know, I was like, oh man, that would be so cool. I think it'll, I think it'll be cool. All right, I know I'm going the wrong direction again, but it's just easier. that chandelier mm. I need my distance here so I think I'm gonna lose a lot of it so I may try and I'm gonna try and see if I can possibly move it down I'm just gonna take part of it let's see it will look weird might look weird. If it looks weird, I'll just leave it out. I'm going to kind of fussy cut it. We say kind of because I'm going to do it really fast. <laughs> Let's see what I'm doing. goes. We'll just kind of guess. <laughs> so what if I just pull that down just above that? That might work. Right, let's try it. We'll try it. Why not? feasible. Okay. I'm okay with that. Once it's glued, I think it'll be fine. I mean, honestly, if I want, I could probably even put a piece of foam behind it and have it raised. But I think it'll be fine. Once we ink that, it won't show up as badly. All right, let's tear this edge a little bit better. So something like just aren't long enough. Tiny bit more. Okay. I'm going to lose this guy. So I'm going to stick him. Before I lose him, I'm going to stick him on my little sign. Y'all heard me. I stuck him on my sign because you know later I'm going to be like, where is he? I lost it. Right, it's, it's too straight. We don't want it quite that straight. Okay. I think we're good. So there's those two. One more. It's a lot of tearing, guys. It's you know, figuring out what to do with your centers is always a challenge. So, when you come across something that just kind of speaks to you, you got to just go with it. I think it, this is better on the right. Okay, there's two lanterns. I'm gonna get definitely got to get the chair. All right, I'm only going to be able to keep maybe one. I think I like this. I have a girl in mind to go here. 
Let me pull her real quick and just see. She has to go on one of the long ones. All right, where are you at? Let's see, they're sticking because I coated all these. But I will fix that before it's all over with. Where you at, girl? There you are. So she's sitting. And I think I want her over here because her arm is resting. So with that in mind, I don't want to lose the arm of that chair. So I'll have to lose the table instead. Just a little. So I gotta stay really close there. I don't think it's gonna affect any of the others, but this one I knew she was close. So that in mind, I'm going to tear that section carefully. I'm just going to... Why is that? Oh, it's my other ruler. I, was like... I actually prefer my first one I made. I think the other ones, I don't know if I didn't get it sharp enough or what. Do that and we'll come in just a little bit. Maybe I should just do it this way because it's so much easier for me. All right, just a little bit. I know I have to lose pretty much probably this whole chandelier. back. I haven't heard the train in a while. Okay, how, where's my page? So, yeah, we still got to lose another quarter of an inch or so. more off the top too because I got to keep the bottom because she goes all the way to the bottom. Okay, so there's that. That fits good except right here. Where's my chalk pencil? All right, let's try to keep some of that chandelier. Okay, so this one, I'm not sure what I'm going to put here. If I'm going to sit somebody or not, I don't think it's going to be a problem, but like I said, they can always sit off the edge if they have to. Not too big of a deal. I tend to that one. And, you know, they can sit in front of the chair. It doesn't really matter if you lose the, the chair. I mean, but when you have it, it's kind of like, oh, let's use it. Like this girl, I think I'm going to sit here on one of this other long bench. Maybe. This guy looks like he's leaning on something, so... I could possibly lean him on that chair. Where's my other chair? I had one more. There was one he fit leaning on pretty well. Is it this one? Maybe. Maybe it was that one. And I may put somebody in the chair. I had the, there was another gentleman. Where's he at? Did you lose him? Where'd he go? All right, mister, I know I had you. Let me look again. Not him. Oh, there he is. These folks I wanted on that other long chair, though. Did 
Do I have a third one? That's for the girl with the... Um... This is for this. So this is for this. I really wanted... Oh, one standing. That's why. Okay. Maybe this one. This is arm work on that one. Yeah. So possibly his arm is leaning there, but he could be behind. But see, his feet are very long for this chair. So I'm not sure I want to put him there because that would mean I'd have to really pull it up. Um, not that I couldn't, but I could. If I just put him all by himself sitting here. What does he look like in this chair? You have to make sure their arms hit in the right spots. Not horrible. He's a little big, but it's not horrible. Who else do I have here? I have a little boy, too. I thought about putting the little boy on here. No. Hmm. I'm not sure. All right, what else? These guys are sitting, but they need a bigger chair, too. Or girls. These are ladies. I even gave them blush. I know they're ladies. I could fit one, but I couldn't fit them both. So either I put her in a smaller chair, or she fit in this chair. She's not terrible in that chair. The, I just, I'm a little unsure about the parasol thing. If I want to use, I mean, do people use parasols in the house? I mean, it seems a little odd, but I assume she's for outside. So if I do that, I could put these ladies, well, they are really big compared to that. So no, that chair is too little. That, that's going to have to have either people standing or a smaller person. I might have to look back through my people. Did I have her there to start with? Size wise, she's not as bad on that. I don't know. What do y'all think about the parasol lady? Should I, should I use her? Should I not use her? Do something different? These guys could just go in front or the wedding couple. I'm going to peek through and see if I had any other sitting options. But like I said, they, they can just go in front. You don't have to use them. I hate to cover that fireplace though. The fireplace is really cool. So I don't want to cover the fireplace. Okay, I got that. I got that. I like those. I had a school teacher. I thought, well, I think she's a school teacher. I don't know what she is, but she kind of reminded me of a school teacher. So I could use her on one side and the little boy over here, maybe. Maybe, can I put them in front? What if I put them in front? Does it make sense still? Like, maybe. Then I don't lose the fireplace completely. That might work. All right. I haven't seen any comments yet, guys. So, still waiting to see what you think about the parasol lady. Is she feasible or should she be outside somewhere? <laughs> Let me see what else I have for. So, I kind of like those guys. I do like my wedding couple, but maybe I'll save them for something. Victorian, you know. Who knows? Where's my people? All right, people, where'd you go? Let's see. You think you should be outside? That's kind of what I was thinking. You know, it's like sometimes I just I don't know if I should second guess myself or what. So we'll save her for outside somewhere. She's very cool, but we're just going to save her. 
So who else do I have that I had those two ladies, but I said they were too big, right? Yeah, they're too big. Well, let me see. I know they're too big. They're, they're huge compared to that chair. Yeah. So weird. Like I said, I could also just put people in front. So maybe, or maybe save that. Let me look and see what else I got. And this guy who looks very, very tall compared to that. So also too big. That chair, that one couch is very, very small. She does fit in the chair, but the parasol doesn't work. That, you're exactly right. I have this little girl. What is she doing? She's holding something. I'd have to figure out what on earth she's holding. How big is she? Mm. It's not quite right. So no, no. I, I'm probably not on camera. I'm just peeking through these. I may end up putting somebody standing. Maybe I'll put this dude with the flowers. Is there any flowers in that? Oh, he's also so big. I, I'm going to have to use a kid or something. It's just too... Um, She's closer. A lot of these are just too darn big. I think this couple's too big too. Yeah, still too big. I'm only looking in the Halloween set. I do have the um, the other set. I don't know. She's kind of weird looking. <laughs> I'm not crazy about her. I could put the Pugsleys in there. <laughs> she's setting. I'd have to really change her outfit though because she's very, very white outfit. It almost looks wintry because it's got like fur. I'm not sure I like it for that reason. Too tall. See, some of them are really big. Too big, too big. Got this dude with his cat. How big is he? He's very, he looks like Lurch. He's so big compared to that couch. It's like, wow, that is just one big couch. She's not terrible with it, especially if I put her down so that she looks like she's closer. And this lady might not be terrible. She's a little smaller. So maybe one of those. I've got this kid, but I'm kind of saving him for something. He's, he's like one of my favorites. I just love his little expression. That's not really anything to lean on there. What about these kids? They're also just too big. Alright, these guys don't look the right age. I think one of these two ladies, yeah, she's not quite right either. Okay, so pick one of these two ladies, um, the lady on the left or the lady on the right, or even the wedding couple, but they take up a lot of the scene. You can't see the, I know, you can't see the chair. It's very small. Here, let me. I'll show you what I mean. It is, it's like a couch or a love seat. Let's see. It's there, but it's very small and very tiny. So I'm thinking as long as she's down enough, she'll look far enough forward that it would make sense. So this lady almost looks like she's leaning on something. I didn't notice that before. So may, maybe her. I'm thinking her. What do y'all think? There needs to be some animals. Gosh, I don't have many animals in my little peoples. But I might could find some somewhere else. There's only, I think there's only like one dog somewhere. I'll have to see if I can find them. You're right, that would be cool. I like animals. 
lady on the left it is. All right. Y'all are thinking like me so far. All right, so I think we're good figuring that out. Um, oh, let me pull out my other Tim Holtz doll paper dolls and see if there's any animals. I still got to finish cutting this one out. He's not going to be in the way of anything. So that is fine. We just want to see, can we save that? He's really tall. So his feet hang over, oops, excuse me, the bottom just a little bit. So I'll lose all of that. So let me try and fussy cut it and see if I can pull it down. Just because it is a very cool chandelier. I would like to keep it. No idea if I'm cutting in the spot I'm supposed to cut in because it's kind of difficult to tell. So let's fussy cut this out. Just some. And we'll move it down like that other one. I hope y'all can't hear my toilet running. It's broken, and every time somebody uses water anywhere else in the house, it starts running. It's annoying. I keep telling Dave to fix it, but he's he's too busy working in a time, and that is not something I'm going to tackle. <laughs> I'll tackle the sink, but I ain't tackling the toilet. That is not happening. Trying to lose that center. It's like a little stem there. A black cat. Ooh, I might can find one. I'll have to look. That would be cool. You're absolutely right. Let's see if I can find one. There might, I feel like there was one of my stickers. I just don't know if the tones would be right. Oh, I can't see that. All right. It's very dark. I hate fussy cutting on screen, guys. <laughs> It's, it's just too tedious. And I always feel in a hurry. But I think this will work. So we don't lose it. Okay. Alright, so let me finish tearing that off. Tear ruler for the bottom. Okay. How do we do? Let's see. Got a little too much, I think, on the right. Top is going to work okay. I'm just going to put that like this. We'll just drop it down and see if it kind of makes sense. It might work. It might look okay. All right, so let's tear off maybe about there. my center so all right I think we're good okay so let's see 
Nope, can't hear it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's good. I really don't want y'all hearing that. All right, so his feet are below, so we're trying to get his knees where they're just hitting and his arm is just hitting. So it makes sense. That's good. He fits really well there. And then that's going to go there. I might go ahead and just tack him in place. Actually, I'm going to ink him first. Let me get some ink. We'll, do, we'll use black soot, I think. I may colorize them a little. So, actually, I probably should not glue him down until I do that. So, I, was, I wasn't sure if I wanted to colorize them too much, you know. But I think a slight tint will be okay. He's kind of creepy. You should see his face close up. It's like, ooh. He's like staring. <laughs> Can I get in there? Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Should I color his outfit any? Maybe a brown or something. Let me find my crayons. You can use your distress crayons, watercolors, um, markers, things like that. I did go ahead and coat these with um, matte medium or collage medium. I tried collage medium at first and it wasn't colorizing as well as I wanted so I switched to matte medium and it's put on with a a makeup sponge and dabbed so it gives that frosted look. Let me show you. See it's just kind of slightly frosty looking. It's a tad shiny but once I put matte varnish on it it won't be that shiny. So if I take maybe um Maybe walnut. Let's see what walnut looks like. So all you do, I, mean, I need to find something to work on because I don't want to make a mess. I'll, I'll just use my thing. Okay. So you just take your crayon. You can use um, Q-tips. Some I've seen people use Q-tips. I typically just use my fingers, but you can use Q-tips if using your fingers bugs you but all you do is just rub the color in and then we will have a little more of a brown jacket instead of a gray jacket we can give him a little color in his cheeks maybe Try not to lose your highlights completely, like his knees there. So they had some some nice highlights. So what I'll do is take one of my Q-tips and just kind of soften the color in that area, just to bring back that highlight. And you can kind of play around and do that just a little, so it's a little more distressed looking and not just flat. We, we don't want it to get flat because you put color on it. Okay, so something like that. That's a little a little more interesting. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with her. I was debating on making her dress red or blue or something weird. Maybe purple would probably be cool. I just don't there's no purple in this but it might still look cool. So the the best pink for our faces is actually worn lipstick. I do not have that color. I have Victorian velvet and oh, I do have worn lipstick. I didn't think I did. That looks really pink. Hmm. I think I've been using Victorian velvet, especially for the guys. All right, we'll try the worn lipstick. That's what most people use is the worn lipstick. I didn't think I had it. So I think I'm going to put it on with the Q-tip though because it's going to be. So I'm going to pull some of this fuzz off because my Q-tips are very fluffy. They're a little too fluffy. 
I have some um, model ones somewhere floating around here. Let's see if I can get him some color in his cheeks. Not too much, just just a little teeny bit. Just a little bit of color in his hands. I don't know. I don't do a lot of tinting. It's, you know. We should put her some color in her cheeks, though. I can get some color in her cheeks. You can back it off a decent amount. And if you totally mess it up, you can totally wipe it off with water because it is water soluble. Um, but then once you seal it, it's not coming off. And I'll, I'll seal this all in there. So that's that's with her cheeks. I'm going to show you. Can you put this light over there? You see the pink in her cheeks? It just gives them a little life. A little more life. All right, what color should I do her dress, guys? Y'all yeah, got to help me out. Let's add, I'll be adding some pink while y'all are thinking about that. I'm going to add some pink to her cheeks. Just a teeny bit. Not much. There's a little. All right, so you're over there. The school teacher looks very pale. Give her a little bit of color. Not so much she looks like somebody beat her up. <laughs> it's like, okay, we can't go too far. All right, what color? Can I do her hands? I wonder if I could use antique linen on her skin a little. Let's see. What does that look like? Huh. I think I have brown on my fingers. She's very pale. Not that that's unusual, I guess. A little bit better. I could tint that dress um, maybe a dark blue or a green. But probably blue since it's in that's got a lot of blues in it. Let's do a blue. Have her float above the chair. <laughs> her? But she fits in it so nicely. I know what you're saying. Yeah, I don't think I can. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you do that with yours, Nancy. I do get what you're saying. I don't think my, I can do that. <laughs> I think she's a little ghost, huh? We'll, we'll make him, he can float above his chair maybe, I don't know. It's like, it'd be like haunted house stuff, you know, with the candelabra crooked and him crooked. <laughs> She just, she looks like she should be sitting there. All right, let's see what this blue looks like. This is a deep blue. I don't know what it's going to look like. We'll see. It, because this color is so dark, it's not going to show up like super blue. Did I coat her? I did not coat her. I'm like, why is this color not going on perfectly? It's because she's not coated. I missed one. That's okay. I'll fix her and then I'll come back to her. It doesn't, the colors just don't work as well if you don't coat them with some distress medium of some sort. So I'm just going to get me a damp paper towel and wipe her back off. All right. She's all wiped off. And then I'm going to take some matte medium to her of some sort. I think I'll just use regular matte medium. It dries really fast, so. Okay. All right, little lady. We're going to have to come back to you. Where's my stabby tool? Make sure you look at it from an angle um, to see the light reflecting. Then you can tell if you got all of it or not.
Okay. All right, she's got to dry. She's behind me. Okay. So let's jump over to Mr. here. He looks a little pale too. Is he coated? Yeah, he's coated. Okay. Make sure. It just, it, the color grabs a lot better um, if you coat them first. This Q-tip is too hard. Hold on. Let me grab my other ones. I don't know if it'll work or not. It might be too hard to. Where'd my red go? Is that it? Yeah. If y'all buy crayons, make sure you use them. They do not last forever. Over time, they will dry out. So, don't waste them. All right, mister, get you some little cheeks on there. It's a little bit better. He's so dark, I don't think I can do much else to him because honestly, he's just, his colors are very, his clothing's very dark. So that's fine, we'll, we'll leave him. Where was he? He was with the school teacher, right? Who's drying? All right. Okay. What's going on her? Well, is she a matte medium? I think so. <laughs> she's she's not anything either. I didn't coat her. It's because I pulled these two them out. That's why. Oh well, it's going on okay. We'll coat her later. I'll just coat her over the color because it went on fine. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it just doesn't. All right. I should probably coat her though. So she looks the same. Let me grab a little thingy. Where did my wedge go? There it is. And my plate. Uh, there it is. That medium. Yep. And pointy tool. Mm, is that it? No. Nope. There it is. Alright. Look at her from an angle. Oh, missed a spot. Okay. Set you aside to dry. water because it's going to dry out on me. You got fuzz everywhere. Okay. Um, so this one will have to go last because those are drying. So let's set that one over there. We can work on this one and this one. One of these had a candelabra. Which one was it? Was it the one I just pulled out? I think it was. Which one had that other candelabra? Was it this one? Or was it this one? Gosh, I don't even remember, guys. Maybe it was that one. No, that doesn't even fit right. <laughs> I don't know where it came from. I should have wrote that down. This one goes there. I know that. I don't think it was that one. It must have been this one. I think that's the most logical one. <laughs> Maybe y'all can remember. 
goodness. I feel like it was. I should have stuck it to the page and I would have remembered. And we don't want it right on top of... I think I'm just going to have it stick over. Let me even that out just a little bit more. I'm just going to have it stick over the top. It might look a, a bit odd. I don't know. Maybe I should just leave it off. <laughs> the other one doesn't look so bad, but this one might be a little odd. Maybe it just... I don't know if it goes here. If it does, there's really no room. Not without interfering with the picture, so it's a, maybe that's not where it went. I'm just going to leave it off, guys. I'm not, I'm not seeing where it went, and it's not making sense with any of these options. Okay. All right, let's see. Shall we color her stuff? She has, like, they're not crosses. I don't know what they, I don't know if they are religious or not. They're like little, I don't know, kind of like crosses. Y'all tell me, do y'all know what those are hanging on her? On her dress? I really don't know. Something. Should I color it? I was coloring somebody. Who was I coloring? Oh, I colored him. He's good. He's brown. We'll, we'll leave him. I didn't color this guy. So I still haven't decided what to do with her dress. I think she needs to look more gothic, so we need to make it more gothic. This guy looks like he's wearing, like, you know, green tweeds or something. I don't know. Do I have a nice dark green? Oh, that's not going to work. I wonder if I can use my ink. All I have is oxide and green. Do I have a rustic wilderness? That might work. Hold on. Where is my ink? Oh, too many containers, guys. It's, it's not under there. This seems like it'd be too bright. Maybe it won't look that bright on his clothes. Let's we'll try it. Let's see what it looks like. I could always tone it down, I guess, with some brown. I don't know where my other ink is. I wanted more like a sagey green or something. I'm trying not to get him on this scroll he's holding. Oh, we're going to color him green. There's a lot of kind of greens in that background, so it'll make sense. Trying to get it on the chair. Okay, where's my Q-tips? Try to blend it a little bit better. Where's some brown? We need some brown. Let's see what that does. We're just gonna put a little bit of browns. Helps a little. I just don't want them quite that bright green. Put a brown in there. That scroll could be like antique linen or something. Maybe, maybe walnut. Where's my? I need a little cup or something. We got some acetate. I do have some acetate up here somewhere. Let's see if I can find a piece of it. Oh, there's a piece. That is a vintage photo, and I know I have antique linen floating around here. Oh, there it is. All right, let's see if we can get something that looks scroll-like. Try to get that scroll. Yeah, that's just not doing anything. <laughs> A paintbrush. Oh. You can't use much water 
teeny, teeny bit of water. Like, put it in the water and then pull the water off. <laughs> Same thing. If you want to do color these with watercolors, it works kind of the same way. And usually, if you use the matte medium, usually it'll adhere fine. Get a little more shading on his pants while I'm at it. Just some shading under his clothes there. Okay, that's not terrible. What color should his jacket be? Should it be brown? A little more brown? Oh, that's not enough water. Oh. I don't want to spritz anywhere near this stuff because if I get water on that paper, it will put little white dots all over it. <laughs> so don't spritz on your inkjet paper. You will be very unhappy. Brown? All right, we're going to try the brown. That's not terrible. And then, um, should his shirt stay white? Yeah, let's give his skin some color. He needs some color in his skin. Ooh, that pink with that brown, that might work. I'm just going to give him a little bit of color. I didn't want him too blushy. We're going to just give him a tad of shading and color. Okay, there we go. And his hands are kind of... His hands probably aren't that that white. Get a little bit, bit more of a tan. There we go. Okay. I don't know if the shirt should be white. I guess it should, should stay white. I mean, if anything, I could make it more just vintage or something like this antique linen. I could throw a little antique linen. I don't know if it'll even show, but it might tone it down a little. It's not quite so bright. There. Tones it down a little bit. Okay. He looks good. He's, he's perfectly tinted okay, I think. We'll leave him there. Let's put him somewhere. All right. Let's go back to this lady and gentleman. Okay. I don't know what to do with your dress. Did anybody say anything? Maybe linen for her dress? I don't, I don't know what it is. I just, I don't know if it should have like a color. I don't have red. I wish I had red. I could use my Lumberjack red ink, but I don't know. It's probably too bright anyway. I guess I could do like a gold. That might look interesting. I think I've got like a brass or bronze. Let's try that. What is that? Oh, that's way shiny. Not that one. What's this one? Antique bronze. They all look shiny on this acetate. All right, that's the only two I have, so we'll try this one. I got water. The crayons are, even though the crayons, they're they're not like wax crayons. They are water soluble crayons. The distress crayons. Um, so it's different than using like a, a Crayola or something. They, they totally dissolve in water. Okay. We're just going to color them with this gold. It's not terrible. I think it'll, it might work. Not sure what they are, but you know, now they're gold. All right, and then we should make her her little sash around her neck color. What color shall we do? Mm, not blue, probably. I'm just going to have a bunch of browns in here because it's the only colors that make sense to me. Uh, yeah. 
think there's just too much blue. We're just going to do a kind of a, a medium brown. Give it just a little more color than it has right now. Maybe those buttons. It's not showing up much, guys, but you know, if it's just enough to kind of tone it down, that dress, boy, it looks like velvet. That has got to be like one fancy dress in real life, you know? I wish I had a red. I've got this like mahogany looking color. What is that? Tart cranberry? Find a spot. I'm not sure how it'll reflect over the dark color. Let's see. Let's see what happens if I put that on there. Ooh, it's kind of interesting. I kind of like it. Hmm. All right. She is in a reddish velvet dress. That's cool. It doesn't take a lot, even if you just kind of hint at the color on there. Where's his leg? I think that's pretty. I need more though. I'm going to have to wipe this off so I can paint on it. This is fun. I could do this all day. <laughs> I like coloring. Spraying this off to the side. Trying to remember not to spray near my my project. Okay. Try to get the big big globules to melt. Right there. So a little bit over here. And I'm not completely going solid. I'm letting some of the darks show. leg there. I may go over those um, little things one more time with gold. Okay. I like this red though. I mean, let me take it off there before I paint that. I don't care if I paint this because I'm gluing over it. not to get it on top of the other things. Keep hitting the buttons and things. Oh, get more water. God, I don't know how you guys can't hear that. It is so loud. I don't know who ran water somewhere. Thought everybody was done. Dave's off to work, so I know it wasn't him. Only leaves one little child. Okay. Not bad. I think I'm okay with that. Let me show you what it looks like up close because I don't know how well it's coming through. Can you see it? So it just kind of looks like more like a red velvet now. All right, and then I'm gonna clean this brush off and we'll do him. What color should his jacket be? I mean, I could rich, make it a richer black color. Maybe it would look more like a tuck suit, but I don't know. It's probably brown. I mean, in reality, it's 
probably brown. We'll do a brownish black. Let's see how that looks. Where's my black cover? I need to get that red off of there. I don't have a lot of space, so I had to do it off to the side. All right, a little bit of black. Not much. Where'd my lid go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Let's just mix this. And we'll just give it a rich color. Not bad. That's feasible. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna color it completely I'm trying to leave little highlights and things okay let's it's just some color in there I think it's okay which oh it's Ty needs color though, right? Oh, who went to bed? Lori? Night, hun. We'll see you next time. Uh, what if we give him a red tie to match hers? Her outfit. We'll give him red. A little bit of a brown in it. Just a touch. Alright, see if I can get that tie. So terrible. Okay. I can go with that. Alright. I still wanted to do more gold. I don't know if I can get it to show up. What was I using? The darker brass one? And take the bronze? Was that the darker one? bit of brown in there, a little bit of red in there. There's all kinds of colors in there right now. I just don't like them completely white. I feel like they stand out too much. All right. A little bit better. We'll go with that. I'm excited that now be perfect. As long as it looks interesting. Alright, so that's those guys. Where's your paper? Oh, here it is. Is this your paper? No. Where's your paper? Uh this one. Yes. Right? Yes. That's where they were. Okay. And then him. You'd be floating up there. Move yourself back down. All right, all right. We're gonna glue those on in a second. And we need to get our school teacher back. She should be dry by now. Yep, she's dry. And our other lady to go in this scene. Okay. That just looks like it should be. I don't know. Green or blue. I wish. I've got to see if that other green will work. Maybe if I just use it with a sponge. Hold on. So I have a cool green. It's just not a crayon. All right. <laughs> I know I saw it just a second ago. Where did I see it? Did I see it in there? No, it's got to be on your table. Oh, there it is. I buried it. Let's try it. 
it's an oxide, which isn't ideal because you can't use water. And I have no idea what will happen if I put net medium over it. But I'm just going to see what happens. Worst comes to worst, I wipe it back off. All right. What does this look like? We're just going to coat it on there and blend it with my finger. It's going to be very bright right now. It's, it's opaque because it's oxide. So we're just going to have not so opaque. It may not work. I, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea if that'll work or not. Did I lose y'all? Uh oh. My video interrupted. Oh, I came back. Okay. Mm, doesn't really do nothing. It's it's too white. I thought it would be. Alright, so that's not gonna work because it's got that oxide stuff in it. Okay. We'll just go what about this color? Fresh balsam. How green is that? Now we're really getting weird looking. I don't know what happened there. I think it's still got the oxide on it. Hold on. I'm going to wipe it off. Start over. Did not like that at all. Okay. <laughs> Didn't like that. That was weird. All right. Maybe not green. What colors? What else do I have? I mean, the red didn't look horrible. I don't want to do everybody red, though. Let's do blue. We'll do blue. See what that does. What does blue do? Mm, it keeps getting like a, a weird haze. Might have to add a little black to this blue. I'm not sure how I feel about it. The blue is just enough, I hope. I mean, it's not terrible. I'm going to darken the top up just a little bit, though. Where am I? Ugh, it's all dirty. Let's see. Let's do a little bit of shading. Shading there, a little shading there. Shading up here. I'm just real lightly hitting it back with that black because it just, it went too hazy for some reason. Some colors do that. I don't know why, but we're just going to tone it back with a little bit of black on our brush. All right. I think that's, I can live with that. I put color in her cheeks, although I can't see it. Give her just a little bit more. That might be too much. We'll tone it down. There. That's better. Okay. She's good. She's good. She's, I don't know, brown. I'm running out of options, guys. <laughs> I wish I had better green. It's just me. I like green. I'm just going to do a brown just to give it some color. Okay. I just don't like them plain with no color to them. I just feel like they look unfinished. So 
even if you do them all one color and that's it as long as they have some color on them I think it really it just helps okay there oh, she's got you get a little highlight <laughs> sorry don't mean to be rude with your upper area <laughs> oh, goodness gracious a little bit more pink in her cheeks all right so she goes there this little guy I give him a little bit of brown I'm just gonna hint at some color on him he's very dark so you can't really see it much all right that should be enough all right wash my brush Set that over there wash off my acetate out of my way. All right, let's start gluing. That my water. Okay, we need to ink those, so I need black on the side, or black soot. Is that the one? Yep. Whew! I knew this would take a while. I thought I might get something else, but I guess not. That's all right. We're getting a lot, though. We're getting three pages. If we get this done tonight, that's three pages that are done. Well, technically six. But. so they don't look weird on their edges. Never did color this girl. I don't know. Maybe we'll just leave her dress. I feel like it should have a color though. Y'all don't answer me. <laughs> Y'all don't answer me. It's just going to get left white. It doesn't look bad white, but the, maybe I should color the flowers. We'll, we'll do that. Did I do him? I did him. Where's the other guys? We're missing somebody. Let me color, do these while I got the pad out. Y'all think I should. Should I leave it? Should I just do the flowers? Nobody's answering. Y'all are sleeping on me, aren't you? <laughs> Flowers in gray, her dress. There we go. We got an answer. <laughs> Starting to think y'all are sleeping on me. All right. Let's see. Let me 
do her real quick because if I don't, I got to get everything back out again. And that's just messy. So let's do her real, real fast here. Get my thing, get my crayons. Her dress is, is kind of gray, but it's not, not super gray. All right, so a little bit black. Maybe some pinks for the flowers. That's all I really have is pinks. I don't know. I have this mahogany, whatever it is. I don't tart cranberry. We'll do that. And maybe a brown. Let's see what that black does. Maybe a antique linen. I already did her cheeks, so I'm going to do those. All right, where's my brush? It's over here somewhere. There it is. All right, so let's do these flowers. Ooh, there's no water. Where'd my thingy go? Oh, I stuck it in water. All right, let me grab another one. Of big blobs on that one. Let me see if I can squish them. All right, there. Okay. Little flowers. And that works. It's very pretty pink for her flowers. She's got flowers up here. Any other flowers? These are kind of flowers. Okay. You could also do this little ribbon. Okay. I don't know what that is, so we'll do it. What about her ruffle? We'll do her ruffle kind of pinky. And I'm going to tone it all down with some um, black, I think. Let's see what happens. Okay. First do these little shadows. I'm just kind of working with what is already there. I'm going to just try to kind of grind her up a little more than she is right now. She's a little too perfect for a Halloween grunge. So anything that's kind of in the back, try to leave room for a highlight here and there. Okay, kind of getting there. A little more shading here and there. Maybe just below those flowers. And there. I don't like that ruffle pink. We're just going to go over it. She's got like little gloves on. Let's make those a brownish color. They're like little hand gloves or something. I don't know. I'll just brown them out. And... Should her veil be more dingy? Let's make her veil more dingy. Just a little more dingy. Okay. I'm just mixing this brown kind of in with this black. It's just to make it look a little more dingy. Alright, she's looking kind of worse for the weather. <laughs> I still like, I think that needs a little, a little more pink in it. Oops. Too big of a piece. Get off of there. Let's see if I can get it off my finger. <laughs> Alright, 
she's colored. That works. Okay, let her dry for a second. Where'd my paper towel go? I threw it away, didn't I? paper all over the floor. I just like look down as I like, oops I've been just tossing it. Okay. Dry. Crayons. Ugh. All right let's glue you guys on. Let's see what we got. First we gotta glue our backgrounds on but we just gotta make sure that our spacing is right for standing. So this one goes a little high we want her to be below so that she looks more proportional so we put her below that so this needs to go almost to the top this one he's leaning on the chair I think we're gonna put him on this side of the chair put her on this side of the fireplace so that we can get them both I just gotta watch that center Be like that. That works. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stare until I can't find it. <laughs> I haven't inked this yet. I need to ink this. A little bit there, a little bit there. I'm just putting a chalk pencil, guys. I can erase it. Because that way I don't forget where things go. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll get right on that center and then we'll have issues. Well, let's go over this way just a fraction. I don't want to get too much into that center. All right, that should be enough to remember. All right, so this one looks inked. This one does not look inked. Where my ink go? I don't guess I inked any yet. Yeah, got sidetracked again. In reality, these could probably be inked with either a dark brown or a black soot. Either is probably fine. since I have it out. There's a lot of black in that one, so still good. Oh, there's a little spot there. All right, let's glue those two pages down. I think I'm just going to use our glitter. Did I use that? I can't tell. Um, a part of me would, would, would just brush the whole thing, um, but I don't want, you know what, I might use my glue stick. I'm trying, I'm debating on which is not the wettest. Our glitter is a little wet. Fabri-Tac isn't the wettest, but it's such a pain to go over big areas. I think I'm going to try a glue stick. Gosh, I just don't know. I want to use whatever won't bleed the most on this paper. I just printed this on normal coffee paper. Copy paper, not coffee. <laughs> copy paper. And my copy paper is a little heavy. It's, gosh, what is the weight? I want to say 24? 26? I don't know, something like that. It's a, it's a little better than normal. And it's a bright white, not a, not just a plain copy paper. Alright, let's see if we can line this up where it goes. So, I've got that. I've got a 
the only mark I see. All right, so not on the center. Don't touch the center of your page. Can I move over just a fraction? So the nice thing about using the glue stick is if it does get in the wrong spot, I do have a minute I can move it just a little bit. You can usually slide it. That seems like it's going down fine. It doesn't look like it's bleeding through too bad. I used, um, br I brushed on matte medium when I did it on my vignette and it turned all kinds of funky colors. <laughs> I had blues and greens and all kinds of things coming through because the glue was just too wet for, for this particular paper. So do keep that in mind. When you've got inkjet, you gotta you can't use a glue that's too wet. All right, let's see if we can line this guy up. Do I see more marks? Kinda. There's one there. There's one there. That looks about right. Is it straight? I do want to make sure it's kind of straight. All right, that's close enough. Not in the center line too bad. A teeny bit right there, but I think that's fine. Where's my eraser at? I know I'm looking right at it. Oh, there it is. Just erase those lines real quick. Okay, anything else showing? Mm, don't see any. All right. All right, that's good. I like that. All right, and then the people I'll put on with art glitter. That'll be a little stronger for them. Let's get my ink pad lid back on before it dries out. Okay, so you are going here. I'll put yourself to the side. Oh, I never did look for a, a critter. We need a critter. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she does. You're right. She does look like she got stood up. Oh my goodness. Poor thing. Poor thing. All right. Let's see. Where are my things? I don't think there's any black cats in this set. No, okay. But I do have, I know I have ravens. I mean, I guess I could put a raven in there. That's, oh, there's a kitty cat. I found one. I found a kitty. Hold on. All right. I, haven't, I don't know that I have a dog. There's, I know there's a dog with the normal people. I just don't know where it is. I feel like I might have put it with the kids. But here's a kitty cat in this rub-on set. You can put this kitty somewhere. I'll find a spot where the colors will work because he's got to have a spot. Um, let's see. We got the kid here. Teacher here. I'm gonna cut this little kitty cat out. If I can find my scissors. Are they under? No. Oh, there they are. All right, kitty cat. I think this was. What is this? Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree? What, is it a Crafter Square? It's Crafter Square, so it's Dollar Tree. All right, let's see. I don't, I just don't know how well it's going to show up on that. It's so dark. It might show up here. It's a little bit lighter. Is there anywhere else it would show up? It might show up there. It might show up on the couch. 
So I could either put it on the couch or maybe there. I'm leaning toward with the school teacher lady. Or maybe she's, you know, a little witch. Who knows? I don't know what she is. I could put a hat on her and then she would be a witch. I have hats. I could put a mask on the kid. It's always a thought. All right, what else do we have? We have bats, so, you know, if we want a bat anywhere, maybe on him. I could see a bat in, in I could see a bat in this background. That, that's feasible with that funky chandelier. So maybe we'll put one of the bats there. Um, I have two cats, so because I have two sets. I don't think there's a cat in this set. Uh, no. There's spiders. Pet. We have a spider coming down from the thing. Uh, it's but it's not a rub on type. I don't I don't like it because it's got white edge. I could just draw one, honestly. All right, let's see. Let me see if I still have that dog. Um, Tim Holtz people's are here. We're gonna go over time, guys. Sorry. Oh, I bet it's it's small. It might be in these tinies. Let's see. I know I had one. I just don't know if I already used them. There's one there, but he's with her, so that I'd have to cut him out. So don't think. There was one, I, I feel like I put it with the boys. So I have that dog, but like I said, I'd have to remove them. I feel like I had another one with the, the boys. Let me see if I can find the boys. This, if it's in here, it's going to be tiny. It is. It's very tiny. You could be a little Jack Russell. Jack Russell. He's kind of, he fits the couch size just fine. He is tiny. I did put him in with the boys. All right, that's the only pet I think I have. All right. So he fits on the couch. That's fine. That's, that's feasible. All right. I don't think I have any other pets. Not that I couldn't find some later, but I don't have any right now. Okay. Okay, anything. So, no comments. Okay, all right. Well, the Jack Russell on the couch is, it fits well. I think we should put the Jack Russell on the couch. All right. So, that means that this one's going to end up with all the animals. Do we really want all the animals on one page? Hmm. Let me see if it fits, if the kitty cat fits anywhere else. I don't think the kitty cat does fit anywhere else because everywhere else is just so dark. I mean, it doesn't look good there. It really fits best there or with her. Take the cat away. It doesn't have that white. It's completely black. It will it'll blend back in. But I could take it away. I'll use it somewhere, but I've, like I said, I have two of them. And one, it's, it is one that once I put on, that's it. It's, it's on because it's a rub on. I don't think I can get it back off. Nope, kitty gets moved or he's out. All right. Y'all are against the kitty. Kitty goes away, I guess. All right. We'll put them back in the package. We'll use them on another page. Should I put bats with him? I think I should put bats with him. 
At least one. It's a good looking bat, so. Put it up there somewhere. It's a vampire bat. All right. Where'd my kitty go? Oh, I'm gonna lose my kitty. All right, here, let's see if I can get this back in here. Ah. Not cooperating. All right, kitty, get in there before I lose you. Okay, there, there. There's nothing here that works really. Moons, cauldrons, gravestones, no, nothing there that works. Ooh, that's a thought. Should I give him bat wings? He's in costume. I should give him bat wings, shouldn't I? How cool is that? What else is in this pile? Anything? No, 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 no. I do like the bat wings on the boy though. All right, I think the bat wings on the boy. Okay. All right, let's get these guys in. We need to ink our little doggy. Our little Jack Russell. Ouch. <laughs> Might have to turn my alarms off. I don't know if I can. Out there. Okay, doggy. Carlin. It's because I put the glue stick. Once it dries thoroughly, it'll settle back down. Just make sure she's straight. Where's my cloth? This is the only one that I had already put a protective surface on. Um, this one, that paper had um, matte medium on it. All right, let's see if we can figure out how to put these guys on. I think I'm gonna use the double-sided tape. It's more secure than glue. spot. <laughs> All right, you're just going to go on my table. Come on. Gotcha. Let's see if we can get it lined up. All right, 
There we go. Tim needs to do what? Make sleeping curled up kitties. There you go. Watching my time. All right. I want her as far over as we can get her. Put a little shadow under her, I think, just because. Where's my pencil? There you are. She doesn't have any shoes showing or anything, so we'll just put a little shadow. Throw a little there too, just because. It's just a, a water soluble pencil. For anyone who's watching that doesn't know. Alright, good enough. There's one page down. Still folds, we're good. Our doggy. Doggy needs a shadow. I like to do shadows under things because then it it just seats them just a little bit better. It doesn't take much. All right, good enough. One page down. Okay, let's do our page here. Okay, we got ink. Hoping I can get this done, guys. I don't want my ring to go off 500 times. Mike can reach up there and hit do not disturb. I just, I, a lot of times when I'm in a live, it won't work. What is that? I don't know what that is. It's got to be, is that a candle or flower? It just, it's really bugging me. It's too bright. It's like, it's so bright. I'm just going to tone it down. There. rub on first. I'm going to forget to do it. I could do it after it's adhered, I guess. Yeah, I should do it before. I'll do it before. It's so hard to get the white. That's why I wanted to tear the other direction because this thin paper is harder to ink. Mostly. 
All right, let's get this little rub on. Let's see. we got to get the chandelier, too, so let me figure out where that goes. I think I might have to do it after because I think it overlaps the glued down part. But I do want to see where it goes. So we got him. He's going to be sitting. His arm there, his legs hang down just below just a little bit where it makes sense. So there, we can pull it down just a little bit. Come on, get over the thread. And then we lose so much of that wallpaper. I almost feel like it was a waste. Our bat and our chandelier. I'm going to put the chandelier way up there, I think. Let it hang over. Well, yeah, let's try that. So I don't think it, the way it's made, it doesn't make sense otherwise. Maybe right there. All right. So the bat can go here or, I don't know. He might be a little corny looking. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like. Hopefully it doesn't look too silly. He's kind of cutesy. <laughs> He's a little bit cutesy. works. It blends in good anyway. Even if he is a little cutesy. Alright. And then so this needs to be where did he sit in that chair? Let me just right there. Okay, where's my chalk pencil? Where's my center? Right about here. All right. And then this one, let's just go ahead and mark it. How far down does she go? Find her knees and her arm. About over. All right, about there. So she kind of hangs down, and the paper goes like that. Is it straight? Not quite. Let me straighten it up. About like that. Okay, let's put one here. Okay. I think we're good. All right, and my cardboard, where did I lose it to? All right, cardboard, where'd you go? Uh -huh. All right, is that it? There it is, okay. Okay, I didn't put my lid on that, oh no. Is it dry? No, okay. I think we're okay. Goodness gracious, I'm so late. So late. Got it. Okay. Hopefully, I think once the page relaxes after this glue dries, it'll flatten back out. That tends to usually be the case. the center and we'll be up high enough. I'm 
try to keep those lines straight. Ooh, so much glue on my fingers. Where's my orange thingy? top I guess about there not in the center and does that look straight I think that looks straight does that look straight okay little piece on there see what it looks like hopefully it looks okay yeah I know you are still watching the problem is I have my phone and my iPad are on do not disturb but it turns off at I think 1130 which means that every alarm is going to start going off and I, I know I can fix it on my phone because I can reach it but my iPad is is recording and I don't know if I can reach it on that. So that is the only issue. All right, I think that this will look all right. Okay, it looks like a chandelier. Okay, I'll put a little gentleman. Personally, I don't care if I go late. And it's, it's fine with me. I'm going to be up till 5 o'clock in the morning or maybe it's even 6. So, no big deal to me. I should erase that chalk before I put him down. Because it's going to be harder to do one after. Okay. There. All right, so... This is going to be a tricky one. He's got so many spots that have to line up. He's got his arms and his knees. Okay. I think I got him. Right, there's him. And then our lonely little bride. slanted just slightly and about like that I think that looks right okay chalk lines chalk line I get the chalk lines Still driving me nuts. It just it looks like it's a bad spot. It doesn't look like it belongs. It just looks like it's a piece of paper got glued to my paper. <laughs> That's what it looks like. 
So we're just going to blot it out because it's just bugging me. I don't, I don't like weird things like that. All right, better. All right, there's her. That's that page. And I may put words. I'll, I'll look through all those, those Tim Holtz um, sayings I have and try to come up with something interesting like I did with The Undertaker. Um, it's not going to be tonight, but you know what I mean. All right. So we're going to ink these and we will be done. I feel like I should do something with this back, though. I may ink it. It's too plain right now, I think. Y'all think I should ink it or something? That's what I'm thinking. Boy, this one's going to be challenging. All right, where's the paper? Hold on. I can't. It's too... Of a white spot. See if I can see what you said. Ink it. Okay. Left my lid off my glue again. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to do, I think I'll do black and then maybe brown too. Just going to give it a little bit of a variation there, I think. We'll show in the middle for sure. In the middle. And then maybe some vintage, um, not vintage, but walnut. Where's my walnut? All right, walnut, where are you hiding? Uh, how'd you end up on the bottom? to be just that oxide as it's it's just so hazy looking if I was gonna distress it that'd be one thing but I'm not so I'm not gonna spray it with waters or anything and that'll just take that haze down Okay, I think that works. Hopefully I'm in the general area. We shall find out in a minute if I am or not. All right, so there's that one. And he is standing next to the chair, right? Yeah, standing next to the chair. With his hand, I think his hands should hit right right on the top there that works and bring it down maybe just a fraction might have to tear that top off a little bit too high just a tiny bit be good as long as it fits on there and the bottom is about a quarter of an inch up okay and then 
this one needs inked. And these people are sitting in the chair and so he's in the chair right there. Straight. Make sure she's straight. Alright, so right about there is where they're gonna go. Do I have something I can mark that with? This is the one I put matte medium on. It looks like it. My foot there. Foot there. Just so I don't forget. I can hopefully erase this line. If not, I'll put a black marker over it or something. Is that black soot? Yep. I'm just going to do it the same way I did that other one. It's a little bit easier. It's easier than trying to hold it and do it sometimes. At least my life's not quite as long as a Tim Holtz life. <laughs> he has some long lives. His go like three hours. Pretty much every time. Okay. Didn't mark this, but I think I know where it goes. It pretty much just barely fits on there. to get my center and try to make sure my portrait is somewhat straight. Okay. I'm a little off the edge there. But I think that will be all right. Okay. And then this one. If y'all start hearing like a wolf howl or something, <laughs> it means my ring is going off. That's my alarm tone on that thing. Which is fitting, I guess, for our life. <laughs> Maybe people will just think it's ambience. And it's usually spiders. <laughs> Nothing important, just spiders setting off my ring. I really like these. I think they've been fun and they turned out cute. Cute. They turned out interesting. <laughs> Not cute. Interesting. It turned out creepy good. Okay. Let's see if we can get them in the right spot. One is arm just on the edge of that chair and okay one more the design from 
the ink left on your scrapbook paper looks kind of cool. Oh, yeah, it does. I know what you're talking about. Get these guys in the right place. We got foot, we got little places for our feet. Right there. His arm looks right. She looks straight. Okay. We are good. I like her dress red. I think it turned out really nice red. I am happy with that color. chalk off. All right. Any other chalk? I don't think so. I think we're okay. All right. There we go. Whew. That was a lot, guys. It was a lot, but we got three spreads done, and it looks cool. All right. A little on my ink. Let's grab all three of them so that we can see what we did today. Get all this stuff out of the way. Lids on my ink, my glues. All right. Okay, pull them up. Here we go. So we have these three. Like I said, I think they will. They're still cold feeling, so I'm sure that they're still slightly wet. Glue stick takes a little longer to dry, but they should relax just fine. And I will varnish all these once they dry. Um, and I've put my words on that I'm gonna put it on. I will varnish all of them with matte varnish just to make them look good. So we have this one. Let me show you up close if I can. So we have this one. It looks good. They look like they were made for the scene. I mean, I don't think I could have gotten luckier with finding these backgrounds. They're just perfect. I don't know if that's what, you know, the person intended. It doesn't say that or anything, but they definitely work for me. There's how these guys little, he's very shiny. That's why the matte varnish, <laughs> those bat wings are super shiny. But once we um, put matte varnish on them, they won't shine like that. Little doggy. You're just sitting there. <laughs> all right guys that is our live oh my goodness here i don't even know how to put them there's no space to put all of them there kind of all right y'all have a wonderful day i will see you guys again on friday we will work on this journal some more and um until then take care all right talk to y'all later Bye-bye.